Okay, I think we will get started. Thanks for being here, everyone. Um, happy Monday. Uh, we have now, um, you know, entered our sixth week of our COVID-19 response for the Senior Tech Club. And it, if you are watching this, you are watching what we refer to as Senior Tech Club Live, and you're specifically watching live number 12. So this is the 12th online, almost live training class that, that we have done since we have taken our response actions related to COVID-19. So welcome. I hope uh, I hope the weather is sunny. I hope everyone is well. Uh, let's jump into our topic. Um, today, you know, I have called our topic um, getting to know Siri or you know, there's a subtitle in my mind, and that is having fun with Siri. Um, I, this is kind of a fun topic. Um, Siri can be a handy assistant, and uh, at the same time, it's kind of fun getting her to respond to your wishes and, and hopefully getting her to do what you want her to do. All right, so today's focus in our session is getting to know Siri. And we're going to do three items today, three items on our agenda. Number one, let's define who in the world is Siri and why do we refer to her as her? And and let's, let's add some definition to that. There are other Siri-like creatures involved uh, that they, we may be involved with. And so we'll add some definition to that. Second item, is we want to spend some time talking about how do you summon Siri? And uh, there is, there's a couple of different strategies that we'll focus on, and we'll want to make sure that you're comfortable with either and or both of those strategies. And then our third action, third item today, is we're, we're going to go through a list of my 10 favorite and useful Siri commands. And I can say that, well, number one, I like Siri a lot. I like using her to perform functions and shortcuts on my device. And I have developed some of my favorites. And by going through this list, perhaps we'll introduce you to some of those favorites. And at the same time, I don't want to limit your thinking to those 10 because there are literally dozens and dozens of additional actions that you can take on. All right, so as we have done in the past, let's establish some of the rules, some of the um, formats for this session today. Uh, as I have said 11 times before, I want you to pretend that we are all sitting around the kitchen table drinking our coffee and sharing what we know about our iPhones. Very informal. I wanted to make this very easy for you to attend. I cannot see you. I cannot hear you with this format. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want to hear from you in that uh, you have the ability to chat at me by going to the right-hand side of your YouTube screen and using the system chat. If you have a question or a comment, well, I welcome them. Um, if it so happens that you don't log on to YouTube or don't have a Google account, that's great too. Um, you can send me a text message and I'm gonna be kind of monitoring that text stream during our session today. And, uh, you know, send me a text and, and I'll try and follow up as best as I can. Finally, um, you are welcome to send me a question, a follow up question via email after our session here today. Um, the address that you can use is simply questions at seniortechclub.com. I've gotten a number of questions over the uh, past uh, past weeks, um, some that I still am responding to. And uh, so be patient with me when those questions come in. I've gotten a few. 
and uh, and we'll try and get back to you with answers or insight or further definition. All right. So today we wanted to start out our session talking about the question or the answer, perhaps, uh, who is Siri? Well, it turns out that Siri is a Norwegian name that means beautiful woman that leads you to victory. This was a name chosen by the creators of Siri. So, so given the fact that we call her Siri, that generally means I'm given permission to refer to her as her, right? Now, you may have some other pronouns that you, you'd want to use for her, but I, I tell you what, for the purpose of our discussion, I am going to refer to her as her. Right, so now, Siri is Apple's virtual assistant. Siri is available on most Apple devices. Right, and that includes the iPhone, the iPad, the Apple Watch, Mac computers. And the basic role of a virtual assistant is to respond to your voice queries and commands. Right, so this essentially means that you can summon Siri and now you can ask Siri questions or you can ask her to form, perform commands. All right, now we're gonna give you lots of examples of that in, in just a bit here, but essentially think of Siri as your assistant and she is able to help you look up information, find information, or actually performs actions on your device. Now, there are other virtual assistants that you may have encountered in the world. So Siri is the virtual assistant that comes from Apple. Whereas if you happen to have an Android phone or Google apps or other Google devices, you are going to use the Google Assistant as your virtual assistant. And this is where you summon them by saying, hey Google. and and that would then bring you many of the same capabilities. Those of you who have Amazon devices may encounter Alexa, right? And Alexa is really the same concept in that, once again, if you have an Amazon device, like an Amazon Echo, Amazon Dot, or actually Amazon TV device, you can ask Alexa to uh, respond to queries and issue commands. So those are the three primary virtual assistants that most people probably will encounter in the world. Now they're all different. They all respond a little bit differently. Uh, some people, you know, do lots of comparisons between them. Uh, for our purpose here today, we are going to be focusing primarily on Siri and her capabilities. All right, so opportunity number one is how do you ask Siri, right? How do you ask Siri a question? Or how do you summon Siri, right? Well, rule number one that I just want to raise is that for Siri to work for you, you do have to be connected to the internet. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to be on Wi-Fi. You can use your cellular data to, to connect to the internet. But if you are disconnected from the internet, um, and I see that occasionally when I, um, uh, you know, I guess the number one time is when I leave, although it's been a while since I've done this, obviously, but when I leave my fitness gym, um, for some reason, I leave that location and the cellular data must be bad right outside and I do not get Siri for a few blocks until I am able to establish a good data connection. Two strategies for summoning Siri. When it's possible for you to summon Siri with a button or you can summon Siri with a command and specifically most people will think of this as 
a series. So let's let's dive into that. And let's dive into both of them. You have the ability to summon Siri with a button. Now, this will depend on the device that you have, right? If you have a device with a home button, you will then press and hold that home button. By the way, if you're trying along with us, um, you can you can you can actually try that right as we are working. By the way, I have to uh, connect my screen here uh, because I am going to do some demonstration. Hang on. All right, and so now uh, the other strategy is. If you happen to have an iPhone like my iPhone 11 that does not have a home button, then you are going to use the side button instead. Uh, that's the same button that you use to put your, your iPhone to sleep. So once again, a review is that if you have a device with a home button, the home button will be on the bottom part of the screen. Right, right in the middle of the center, you're just going to press and hold the home button to summon Siri, or you can press and hold the side button. All right, so now as we do this, um, the tip is that you hold the button until Siri responds or until you are done with your question or command. So let me demonstrate here. So this is my iPhone 11. I press and hold the home button. What day is today? And I release. It's Monday, May 18th, 2020. Okay, so now I apologize for the sound quality of Siri. You're not going to get a great fidelity from this the way I have it set up. Now, that was a quick demonstration. Now, if you notice on my screen on the right-hand side of your screen, there is a little Siri icon down at the bottom. And if you want to ask Siri another question, you can actually tap here. Or if you want to repeat the press and hold function, you can do that. I tap here. And who am I? I'm not sure I understand. All right, so I, she was a little confused because I, I combined a, a couple of items. All right, so now the point here is that that in order to summon Siri with a button, you are going to press and hold. I think a good strategy, what seems to work best as I've watched older adults do this, is that you can press and hold that button until you have completed your question. All right, so let me give you another example. I am going to press and hold the side button, and I'm going to ask Siri a question about the temperature outside today, all right, and I am not going to release the button until after I am done. What is the temperature outside today? The high temperature for today will be 66 degrees, and the low will be 59. Okay, there we have today's weather. All right, so, so and, and once again, how I did it, was I did not release the button until I had completed my question. I find that that strategy works a little bit better, although all you have to do is actually hold that button until Siri will respond. Okay, let's go on. The other strategy that you have for summoning Siri is to use the phrase, Hey Siri. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Okay, so now what happened, what just happened was I did Hey Siri, and um, Siri responded. All right, so, so what really works great in our environment, uh, for many environments, is that you can set up your device so that your device responds to Hey Siri. Uh-huh. I'm here. Okay, so now what just happened there was my device heard the phrase, hey Siri, and so I just let it run out and I didn't ask Siri to do anything, all right? All right, so now let's talk about hey Siri for just a bit. Um, if you want to use hey Siri to summon Siri, you have to have it set up in your settings app. And so I just want to demonstrate where that is at. So in order to accomplish that, I have the key... I have the key phrases, um, and and by the way, I uh, I will make sure that this um, set of slides is up on the class page right before we are done here today. But here's how you make that change. 
if you go into the settings app, all right, so you go into settings and then you scroll down until you find Siri and search. You tap on it and there is a setting at the very top. And if you remember, I always talk about green means on. All right, so listen for Hey Siri is on based on what you see on my screen on the right hand side. So that if you want to be able to use Siri, you're going to turn that switch to green. You're going to turn it on. Now, the very first time you turn it on, your device is going to ask for some training. All right, and it is going to ask you to repeat the phrase Hey Siri multiple times. Okay, and and so now you're starting to see that uh, that uh, I'm sorry, hang on here. Okay, now you're starting to see that this way of summoning Siri is pretty effective. If you plan to do any hands-free work in your vehicle, in your car, all right. Now, I know most of us aren't driving around a lot these days, but I would propose to you that setting up Hey Siri is pretty important so that you can do navigation, so that you can make calls, you can actually do other commands hands-free while you are driving your car. All right. So now we, we talked about both strategies for summoning Siri. You have the button strategy and you have the Hey Siri strategy. There she goes again. With the button strategy, it depends on the type of phone that you have. If you have a phone with a home button, so that would be an iPhone 6, 7, 8, an iPhone SE, you're gonna press and hold the home button. If you have a, a device without a home button, that would be an iPhone 10 or 11 at this point, then you're going to press and hold the side button. The side button is the same button that you use to put it in or to, to do a power off. Okay, continue. Um, I tried to develop a list of my 10 favorite and useful theory commands. And um, I've given you a list, one through 10, right here. We're going to cover all 10 of them right over the next few minutes. All right, so let's, let's dive into this. First one, timers and alarms. Oh, this is probably the number one on my list of um, actions that I ask of Siri. I use set timer several times every week. Um, you know, so as an example, um, if you are cooking something in the kitchen and you would like to set a timer for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever that is, um, let me do a demonstration. Now, I'm going to ask for 15 seconds here just so that it's done really quickly. So when we're twiddling our thumbs for, for that period of time. But I'm going to I am now going to press my side button in order to summon Siri and ask. Set timer for 15 seconds. Okay, your timer is set for 15 seconds. All right, you can see the timer is now uh, taking action. And at the end of this process, sorry, I'm gonna move this around a little bit. All right, there is my timer action. All right, really straightforward and it, it it actually, uh, it's very effective. I like it more than the reminders, all right? So you could tell Siri to set a reminder for 15 minutes, but I like the fact that that timer gives you that audio, all right, notification. So you could use this timer for any minutes, any seconds, any hours, and, and it will come up and respond similar to what my device responded as we were, as we were just listening. Another favorite command that I like with Siri is the ability to set an alarm. Now, when you think of setting an alarm, you think of waking up in the morning, and it works for that. So I could actually say, 
um, to set an alarm for 6.30 a.m. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to show you what that looks like in the clock app. All right, so here we go. Set alarm for 6.30 a.m. The alarm is set for 6.30 a.m. All right, so now I am not getting any feedback from Siri right at this point. That's okay, all right? But I wanted to go into the clock app, and I'm going to go into alarms. And sure enough, right here on the screen, you can see that there is an alarm set for 6.30 in the morning. Now, this is one that's going to go off every day, all right? Um, and, and, of course, you can, you, can, you can look at the configuration of these items you know, by doing an edit on that function. You know, if I do edit and if I go into that alarm, um, it says repeat never, right? So it's, it's, it's going to just do a one time and there is a basic label for it and so forth. All right, so, so th that was just a demonstration that that set alarm will work for, for setting an alarm. And similar to a timer, it'll then give you a, an audio sound and, and go off at that particular time. Now, we normally think of using alarms to get up in the morning, but do not hesitate to use them for other functions. As an example, I have an important meeting today at 3.30 in the afternoon, and I just wanted to get a notification ahead of that meeting. So you could actually set an alarm for 3 o'clock. 315 in order to get a, give you a reminder for attending that meeting. Here's another ex good example of how I use uh, this function. I'm, I'm talking now about timers. Um, I happen to have a gas grill to do our outdoor grilling at our house. And one of the things I like to do is I like to leave the burners running for some period after removing the meat from the grill in order to burn off the grease and to clean a little bit, right? Yeah, it's common, a common strategy. Well, I have had multiple instances where I have walked into the house and I have forgotten to turn off the grill. And of course, my grill very nicely will burn through an entire tank of gas, right, over the next several hours. All right, so one of the things that I do very commonly is I will walk in the house after grilling and I will say, set a timer for five minutes and I get that audio sound five minutes later, which is my reminder to go outside and turn off the grill. Think of all kinds of ways that you can use these functions. All right, let's continue. Um, a second common use, at least in our house, for Siri is to use it with trivia. All right, so common questions. For some reason, we have in our in, in maybe this is just me but i seem to have this obsession with how old people are all right so so i remember you know very specifically not that long ago where we were watching one of the country music shows on television and so we were watching the country artist keith urban and so we have to ask the question how old is keith urban that's a great question for Siri. Let's demonstrate. How old is Keith Urban? Keith Urban is 52 years old. All right. Now, now if 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 I wasn't if I wasn't restricted, sorry, if I wasn't restricted in my setup, you would actually hear the audio from that that process. But but because of the way that I am connected to my screen, you don't get the audio. All right. But it will come up with the audio for that. Who is married to Keith Urban? Keith Urban is married and to Nicole Kidman. Up the answer, Nicole, Nicole Kidman. And you can go on and on. So if you're sitting around watching an awards show or watching some, uh, you know, some concert, and and you would like to get information, trivia information about how old this person is or who this person is married to, or Excuse me, I'm going to put this away. How? What is the population of Minneapolis? As of 2018, right, and the again, population of Minneapolis was 425,403. You would hear the audio say the population of Minneapolis is 425,403. All right. So all kinds of trivia work well when you are using Siri. Next. 
third item on my list is levity. All right, and that uh, again, we're going to miss out on some of this action here. Um, and actually, what I'd like to do is I am going to disconnect my phone from the screen once. I just want you to pretend that it's there. I will reconnect it in just a bit. All right, because what I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like you to be able to hear the audio with a couple of these examples. Tell me a joke. Sorry, I didn't get my audio. Let me do a couple setup things. Okay. Um, I, you know, unfortunately, I'm not able to tell this to you. I'm just going to have to have you trust me on this one. Sorry. That um, I'm going to go back and put this onto the screen. All right, to be able to prove, at least you can read the jokes, all right? Hey, Siri, tell, tell me a joke. What kind of sugar does Lady Gaga put in her coffee? Ra, 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 okay, all right? Here's, here's, here's what you can do with knock-knock jokes. I'm going to press the button at the bottom of the page. Knock-knock. Knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Knock knock. Who's there? Candace. Candace who? Candace who? Candace be true? You don't remember me. Um, and so he, he. I have done this How about dozens another one? of times. I guess it suggests that maybe my life isn't all that exciting point here is is that you can you know you can continue to ask Siri for knock knock jokes um, when this happens Siri is going to ask you knock knock and you are going to say Candace who or you're going to say hatch who or or whatever she is asking for and and then then uh, then she will respond to that get a little levity from that um, one final thing we're going to do what is zero divided by zero Imagine that you have zero cookies Imagine and you split you them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies friends. does each, cookie person, does each person get? See, it doesn't See, make it doesn't sense. sense. And, and Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. cookies. And, you, and are you are sad that you have, that you have no friends. friends. And, and she will give that, that verbal response to those. All right, let's go on. All right, another way that you can use Siri is as a calculator to do math, all right? So again, um, normally you would get this via an audio presentation. Uh, let's do it anyway, because we'll be able to see it on the screen. What is 15 times 3.3? The answer is 49.5. All right, um, what is a 15% tip on $9.34? The tip is one dollar and forty cents. All right. So very, very nicely. And once again, it'll do this with audio if if I weren't running through um, all of this process. So use it as a calculator. And I think you'll find that it is much easier if you're going to do a single calculation. It's much easier than trying to number one find the calculator or two go into the control center in order to call up the calculator on the screen. Next, um, you can use it for hands-free calling particularly useful if you are calling in your auto, in your car, all right? So, so as an example, you can call any person in your contact list. Right? So Joan happens to be my wife. I can say, call Joan mobile. Uh, the reason I say mobile is because she has multiple phone numbers, right? As opposed to work or home or so forth. And so if I tell Siri to call Joan mobile, it will place that call. Here's another example. This is one that isn't in my uh, contacts list. Um, there's a, a fairly new restaurant in our area called the Hickory Hog Barbecue. 
Um, and you can actually try this with any local business. Let me give you that demonstration. I'm going to start the call. Call Hickory Hog Barbecue. Okay. Call Hickory Hog Grill and now, Smokehouse on 3900 Silver Lake Road, Northeast in St. Anthony. Silver Lake Road? And if I say yes, calling Hickory Hog Grill it's and Smokehouse. It's now going about the process of calling this restaurant. There you have it right there. All right. So now, so you can call really, it's, it's easiest to call anybody that's in your contacts list, but it is also easy to call somebody that, or a business that's not in your contact list. Just, just ask for the name of that business. Next favorite, turning the flashlight on or off. Hey Siri, turn flashlight on. It's on. And there you have it. Hey Siri, turn flashlight off. It's off. And and there are other settings, and I'll I'll, I'll give you some resource in, in in terms of where to find those. Um, you can use it with the camera. Here's the example I say. Uh, let's say you're walking out at some event and you see this couple right on the street in front of you. And uh, this happens to be Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. And, and you know, you would like to be able to take a selfie with them. And, of course, you don't want to be fumbling around. You know, when you take a selfie, you know, this is you're holding it out like this. When you're taking a selfie, you know, you need to be able to launch the camera and then you need to be able to flip your camera. And then you need to be able to, to get your fingers in the right position in order to press the shutter. But if you are using Siri, I can literally say, take a selfie. And you notice from here that it not only launches the camera app, but it does the camera switching for you. And so I could now take that selfie just as I just did, um, because my fingers are already in the right position. Now, you can do the same thing with the, take a video, take a photo. Um, and if you are looking for fast camera action, that might be one of the strategies that you can use. Give it a try. Take a selfie works great because, once again, you don't have to fumble around trying to figure out how to switch your cameras. Uh, the weather. I gave you a, a couple of weather examples um, earlier um, where you can say, what is the temperature? It's currently 63 right. degrees. And she'll speak the temperature, right? Um, is it going to rain today? It doesn't look like it's going to rain today. All right, and, and it will take you, and in some cases, this is a case where it will take you into the weather app of your device and take you directly to that screen. Um, Hands-free navigation. Siri works great if you require hands-free navigation. So if this is sitting in your car and, and if you have a situation like we have in Minnesota where we are literally not supposed to touch our phone except for a single touch, right? You can actually tell Siri, take me home. All right, now Siri does have to know who you are. Um, and I do have a special uh, tech note about, about that, about making sure that you have that. Essentially, in order to make sure that this worked, you would have to come up and say, who am I? You're Don. All right. That's and what you told me anyway. It identifies Siri knows who I am. And and if that isn't the case, you're going to go into settings, the Siri settings, and identify who is your information. All right. Um, here's here's one that's a little different. Remember the uh, the restaurant we talked about before, the Hickory Hog restaurant, where you can literally ask for, you're in your car, you can say, directions to Hickory Hog Barbecue. Getting directions to Hickory Hog Grill and Smokehouse. All right, and so if you are actually in your car, all you would have to do is to do one finger to press. Starting the route to Hickory Hog Grill and, and you Smokehouse. Are now on a direction strip you know, approach for using the GPS. Sorry, I didn't get that turned off and route. Now I'm back to there. Um, so consider using it for your hands-free navigation. Sports. All right, this is our, our 10th and our final favorite. Um, so this is perfect if you need to get the sports score. All right, now we got kind of a different situation today because we have no sports, but let's try it out. 
what was the Timberwolf score? Just a moment. One more moment. I'm still thinking. I'm going to stop it. What was the last Timberwolves score? Minnesota was beaten by right, Houston, beaten by Houston on, March on March 10th, 10th. 2020. Again, the final audio. score was 117 to I 111. I checked out one this morning that I was actually kind of upset with. All right, so I'm going to go back um, and I'm going to ask, what are the American League Central Division standings? These are the standings for the AL Central of MLB and from I the want current you season. to notice that even though we have played zero games, I happen to be a proud Minnesotan and a you know, Minnesota Twins fan, even though the Twins have played zero games, the Twins have landed in fifth place. Some kind of conspiracy is going on there. Who do the Vikings play for their season opener? The Vikings play the Packers on September 13th. I'm going to end here. Who do the Vikings play for their season opener? The Vikings play the Packers right, on September 13th, 2020 at noon. On September 13th at noon. All right. So, so anyway, those of you who are sports fans and you're just looking to get your, your quick fix of sports, um, you can use Siri in order to accomplish that. Okay, so let's identify what we did today. Um, we First of all, we defined what Siri was. We defined Siri as a personal assistant that you can use to respond to your questions or perform actions on your device. Gave you a little bit of background on Siri. Um, we talked about two ways of summoning Siri. You can summon Siri by pressing a button. Uh, if you have a home button, use it. If you don't have a home button, use the side button. Or you can set up Siri by enabling the Hey Siri function. Um, that would require you to go into settings for a second. Um, we then gave you a list of 10 of my favorite Siri commands, and this is related to timers and alarms and navigation and making phone calls. Um, you know, feel free to download this the slide deck or access the, the resources that we have online. In fact, let me show you that because there is some good information available there. So I am going to go to um, the online page, right? So now you are looking at the, um, the online page that you used to get here today. All right, here it is right here. Uh, later when we're done, I am gonna put the archive video uh, in this place. And um, also when we're done, I will upload my slide deck so that you have this. But in particular, down at the bottom of this page, I want to show you the Getting to Know Siri recipe, which is on the Senior Tech Club site. All right, and so if we access that, this page looks like this, right? And so we're looking at uh, Getting to Know Siri, and I take you to a Smart Senior Helper, um, ways to summon Siri, turning Siri on and off, I give you the 15 best commands for Siri for, for Siri down at the bottom of the page, uh, a couple of tips. But then down at the bottom, I give I present a big collection of Siri commands. So the, the 10 or 15 that we might be able to cover in a class like this is just a tip of the iceberg in terms of what Siri can do. So as an example, if, if you want to explore Siri questions and command for contacts, right, you can go down to this list and you could click on here and it will now give you this question. How old is, what is uh, somebody's birthday? Uh, show me uh, information about that person. Here are Siri commands for alarmers, timer, and clock. Here are Siri's commands for calculation and doing math. Yes, you can ask her the square root of 13 if you want. Siri questions on weather. Yes, you can actually send text messages using Siri. And again, I'm, 
I know I'm making you dizzy by putting these by you really quickly, but the point is that you can go online in order to access this list, right? But on the other hand, if you have a question about what we covered today and would like to do a follow-up question, you can send me an email at questions at seniortechclub.com. Um, if you need to get into the site for that we just looked at, the web page for this class, uh, you can go to links.seniortechclub.com slash live12. This is our 12th session. And then finally, uh, what's coming up next this week? Um, I am going to do another pre-recorded session for Thursday that I'll release on, on Thursday morning. And I'm referring to this session as shortcuts and widgets and nuggets, oh my. Um, and what it is, is it's going to be um, eight of my favorite undocumented un or under-communicated functions and tips and shortcuts that you have available on your iPhone. So it'll be fun, just all kinds of tips, great for beginners, intermediate, advanced users, that there may be something something new there. Um, if you want to keep track of how what our schedule looks like, you can actually go to, um, oh, sorry, wrong one here. You can actually go to, the site, which is available by links.seniortechclub.com slash live, you can go to this site and you can see all of the upcoming sessions, right? Um, note that there is going to be no Senior Tech Club Live on the Memorial Day holiday. That is uh, May 25th, and I identify that here. Also on that same page, links.seniortechclub.com slash live, you can actually go to all of these pages for the previous session. And from here, you can actually get to all of the previous videos. And so if you'd like to be able to replay something from the uh, previous session, you are able to do that. All right, and finally, thanks for coming today. Uh, this has been Senior Tech Club Live number 12 about Siri, getting to know Siri, and having fun with Siri. I hope you picked up something new from this. Um, until we see you next time, please stay well, stay at home, keep washing your hands, keep learning, and we'll see you online. Thanks for coming.